Time to get the kids out of the room. We're going to go ahead and have some grown-up discussion this morning. Joining us this morning is Dr. Rose Hartzell from San Diego Sexual Medicine at Alvarado Hospital. She's here to help you get your mojo back this summer. Thank you for being here as always. Thanks we really appreciate me. it. Um, so let's first of all talk a little bit about how common female sexual dysfunction is and, and what is the most common type of, of sexual dysfunction that women are facing today? Well, the most common sexual dysfunction is low sexual desire, um, and it's it in women, um, but it can be in men and women, and it's basically just when an individual starts to have absent or reduced interest in sexual activity, and it causes distress in their lives or their relationships. And talk, if you would, a little bit about what's on the horizon with the FDA, and basically kind of the female equivalent of, of Viagra, because there's nothing really out there right now for women that's been FDA approved. Currently, there's 26 medications approved for men, and there's zero medications approved for women. Wow. So yeah, tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. Pacific time, we'll find out if the first medication ever will be approved for female sexual dysfunction and low desire in particular. And you all actually did testing here in San Diego with this particular medication. Currently at San Diego Sexual Medicine, we did some of the, wow. the testing. Wow, how does it work? It's a mental thing. It, it, it helps women mentally somehow, right? Right, it's so, um, they, they're calling it the female Viagra, but it's actually, it changes neurochemicals in the brain, It's it, um, which can help um, with desire. Right. Mm -hmm. um, well, while we wait for this uh, FDA approval, let's talk about some of the things that we can do to, to go ahead and strengthen our relationship and help it. Um, first of all, you say you do have to do just that, strengthen your relationship uh -huh. to, to have the effects seen in the bedroom. So just as low desire um, can cause problems in a relationship, having relationship issues can be a symptom, or having low desire can be a symptom of relationship issues. So if you have resentment, res resentments towards your partner, you have difficulty communicating, there's some infidelity, of course that can cause difficulties in wanting to engage in the bedroom. So do what you can to strengthen that, re strengthen that relationship. And going along with that, you say improve your mindset. Next you say control what you can. What do you mean by that? So there's things that you can control in life and there's things that you can't. Mm -hmm. So if you are nervous about unwanted pregnancy or sexually transmitted infections, HIV, privacy, these are things that you can talk to your OBGYN about, you can get a lock for that door. Do that so that you can relax, ease your mind, and enjoy the encounter versus thinking about other things. Next, body image, probably get over body image. Invite eroticism into your life, communicate your wishes, and lastly, seek help if you need it. I think that last one is key. A lot of folks are afraid to seek help. Right, so um, for all those things that you mentioned, a mental health care provider can help you, a sex therapist, um, and also a sexual medicine physician, and hopefully tomorrow we'll find out if the FDA advisory committee recommends to the FDA that they approve the medication for women. Awesome stuff. Dr. Rose Hartzell, thank you so much as always. We really appreciate it. To get in touch with Dr. Hartzell, you can visit our website, fox5sandiego.com. Just go ahead and click on that scene on tab. All right, Paul, back over to you. All right, thank you both.